don't know how people will wake up Sunday morning and decide they want to wear one tight. Are you going to the nightclub? You will not wear that if you're going for a job interview because there is a certain decorum that is expected. May I educate you? Perhaps you are not aware. The house of the God is a solemn place. It's a place where we come with a heart of worship. Bible says by their fruit you will know them. You may have come in as a battered prostitute and literally naked but if you are sitting under the word for goodness sake take a look at the person on your right or left the word has bore fruit in them so we expect the same fruit in you why will you wear something that when you are going up the stairs you have to be covering everything did you not know you were going to climb steps did they tell you this church is one one floor of church with all the With all the AC and the cold, you will still be wearing all manners of things. Don't get confused though. I have all those manner of things, but they're for my house. Yes, they're for my house. And guess what? When I'm on holiday, I wear my shorts and I will feel like a happening babe, hot babe, chick. But there's a conduct in the house of God. If you will not wear almost rags because it's so small, you know, to go and get that job because you know they expect you to have a corporate look. What job are you coming to get in the house of God that that is befitting for? I don't know. But you know what? You can dress well. You can be attractive. You can even be sassy. But you can be clean about it. Just look frontal. Because I'm not talking to you. And if there's someone around you that is pulling down the skirt, didn't you know the skirt will go up? When you, I mean, I'm in church today. I sit down. I have not a scarf because I needed not one. But if I'm wearing something here, you sit down, your skirt will go up. So why are you trying to pull it? Then you know the worst thing. They have some people every day they must walk up and down every sunday that walking up and down cannot get you a husband It is simply a distraction to the people around you. They are concentrating. A rema word is coming. They put their hand to seize it. Then you start saying, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse to where? If you were at an embassy waiting for your turn in visa, you will keep that bladder until it's time. Because you don't want them to call another number before you. So when you come to the house of God, go and use the loo. Then come in, sit down. If you were stuck in, tra in traffic for two hours plus, you will keep your bladder. What are we talking about? It's a distraction and it's a, a disregard for the house of God. That's one thing I like about the Orthodox churches. Once the word is going on, they will just put you up in one balcony. They put the cordon ropes and tell you, please don't come and distract us. Holy Spirit is moving. <laughs> are you with me? It's a distraction. Paul said, when I was a child, I behaved as a child. I did childish things. Now I'm older, I will put away those childish things. What you are doing, we've all done this before. But there's a time and season for growth, maturity. In case you don't know, all the women keep quiet because I've been wondering, is it the women or the men answering? I need the men to respond. If you dress somehow, you walk up and down. If there's a guy here that you can tempt, the guy will have a fling with you as the toy that you are and fling you when he's done. No, is the man supposed to answer? Is that correct? I can't hear whether some men are saying yes or no. They say yes. Everybody likes wife material. But you need to still be his chick even though you are his wife. 
You don't want somebody that by the time you are working, you are trying to figure out, well, if this is how she's advertising, how many of us are logging on to her website? <laughs> 